pretty excited about this new plugin alert. Effect Grid is a multi-band plugin chainer that allows you to not only split your audio into three bands, but also further splits them up by amplitude. Plus, you can bus each separate band to its own output. Confused? So am I. There's lots to explore here, so let's get started. But first, please like and subscribe, and let me know in the comments below if you think this is an essential plugin, and head over to palebluedot.ca for freebies and information on my new mini course. So the first thing to know about Effect Grid's unusual interface is that the signal is being separated into three frequency bands, like a typical multiband processor. But here, those bands have been further split up by amplitude, or the energy of the signal in that frequency. So this goes like quiet, medium, and loud. And the animations here actually show you where the most energy is in that band, which is very handy. If you want to use this as a standard three-band multi-band effect, just crank the dB slider on the left all the way. Now the middle circles are full band, and you can go ahead and apply processing to the bass, mids, and highs in any way you see fit. Or you can simply adjust the gain with the slider here, which can be very powerful during mastering. But let's put it back to the default and see how this amplitude mode works. I have a track here from an artist named Jetta called Own. Info's in the link below if you're interested. And this song has a deep sub bass where the kick and bass are either one synth patch or have melded together. What I'd love to do is add some stereo width to the sub bass and enhance the attack of the kick transient. This would be hard to do with standard tools, but as we can see here, we can see the sharp attack is in the high-low section, so the loudest bass component, and in the mid, we can see the sustain of the 808 bass, so I'll solo that. And we hear mostly the sub and some of the program content above that. I'll move the slider down a bit so we can isolate the sub. There we go, now let's add some stereo modulation. Alright. And let's solo the attack portion. We can hear it's isolating that attack nicely. Let's see if we can toughen this up a bit. Let's add some saturation. Let's crank these transients. And then smack it with a compressor. Bypass. Yeah, I think that's sounding a bit punchier. So there are definitely some very cool, endless possibilities with Effect Grid. Some more cool features include... Every third insert slot, you can set the output to any of nine separate buses. Now this means you can actually send each frequency band to a discrete output in your host, and apply effects the standard way, or add send effects to them even. Again, the possibilities are endless. Another great side effect here is that you can freely load AU or VST plugins in a VST-only host. Hey, you want to use Apple's default AU inside WaveLab? B2 
be my guest. For many years, I've been looking for a great multiband plug-in chainer. Wave Studio Rack was exactly what I wanted, but it's Waves only. This is super exciting because you can use any plugin you want, although there will be some plugins that fail validation. Oh yeah, you need to scan your plugins first to use them in Effect Grid. So, a couple of cautionary notes. This plugin uses a lot of CPU. In Cubase, my meter was much higher than normal once I started loading plugins, and I had to increase my buffer to eliminate dropouts. I would like to see a better bypass system than what we have here. To bypass a plugin, I have to right click and select bypass, and this has to be done for each and every plugin in the chain. And there doesn't seem to be a global bypass in the plugin. There's a global bypass reset, but I'd like to be able to bypass all this internally, especially if it's gonna cause a click with the latency. Oh, and there is no manual to speak of. This does in some ways seem to be more like a stable alpha release than the final product, but I spoke with the developer and they say they're actively working on bugs and new features, including automatable macros. But this is a strong recommend for me to anyone looking for multiband control over your audio. It's very affordable and I think we'll see this showing up in many mastering and creative chains in the coming months. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and head over to my website at palebluedot.ca for free samples and more. See you next time and mix well.